Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Dela Cruz Engineering videos. So in this video, I'll be continuing to solve problem um, involving three reservoir problems, no? And as what is shown in the screen, uh, this is the part two on this series. So last part one, we also solved uh, three reservoir problems involving the specific problem that given lahat yung mga uh, given lahat yung mga elevations on the uh, free surface of the reservoir. Okay? So, this is another type of problem involving a tree reservoir. And it will be more easier. Uh, it will be easier than the uh, part one. Alright? So, uh, let's continue. Okay. So, uh, given the following data for tree reservoir shown, um, reserve of V and C reserves water with um, discharge 2 or Q sub 2 is equal to 0 0.65 cubic meters per second. And we have the properties of the pipes here. No, So this is uh, our pipe 1, pipe 2, and pipe 3. Alright, so uh, yung given dito is the discharge at pipe 2 uh, denoted as Q sub 2. And it is also stated that the reserve of B and C reserves water. No? So, ano yung significant ng statement na ito? What would be the significance of this statement? Reserve of B receives water. Okay, take note that that is an important statement because um, it will define the energy grade line natin. No? So, ibig sabihin dyan, if reserve of B and C reserves water, that should be from A. No? And the flow of water here should be like this. Okay. So, the flow of water should be like this. Ganyan. No? So, uh, uh, from reservoir A, the discharge of water will be like this one. And it will be distributed to reservoir B and reservoir C. Alright. So, um, first um, solution here is to calculate the head loss no denote lang natin siya as h sub 2 head loss at pipe 2 because uh, the given discharge is for pipe 2 this one okay so we can solve this um head loss for pipe 2 and that is 3.14 uh 413 meters okay so um ano ba yung um uh, importance ng statement na to? so in that case we'll be assured that the um, energy at junction, at this junction, should be above than the elevation of B. Dapat mas mataas siya, no? Because it will signify that it reserves water from A, no? So, if this is the head loss for pipe 1, so, ito dapat yung energy grade line natin from the junction through the B, no? Because if this happens na sinabi niya that reserve B supplies water through C, then dapat nag-supply siya to the junction. This um, point here should be lower. Somewhere here. Uh, this point here, somewhere here, basta nag-supply si If sinabi niya na nag-supply si B, so mag-supply siya, that would be going down. Okay? That will be the significance of this statement. Ito. The servo B and C. I hope that is clear. Okay, so we have the head loss 2. So, remember that head loss is measured vertically. No? That is the drop of the energy grade line. So, from the junction point, this is our H sub 2. The head loss of 2. Okay, so, um, also C reserve, reserve, uh, uh, receives water from the reserve A. So, the energy grade line from the junction should be like this one. Alright? So, uh, from the junction point, this is our head loss 3 or the head loss on pipe 3. Alright? So, if we have the value of H sub 2, then we can eliminate things here and we can simplify our equation um, na maging isa lang yung ating ano, isang head loss. No? Ito, ito yung pinakamandaling solution dyan. Okay? So, move muna natin. So, determine the head loss of the pipe connecting reservoir A. So basically, this is our uh, the H1, no? Head loss connecting reservoir A. H1 yung inahanap dito. 
Okay, to do that, um, the same approach uh, as last time, as we can see that the reserve A, the discharge at A, or discharge at 1, is equivalent to discharge at 2 at, at discharge at 3. No? Kung baga, dinistribute natin yung water dyan. So, that would be our main equation. Then, using the um, discharge at 2, since that is given, we can have here Q1 is equal to 0.65 plus sigma 3. Okay? Then, Q1 and Q3 will be expressing that one to their corresponding head loss. Okay? Alright. So, we have here our um, discharge formula. No? So, we already tackled this one last time. Santo Galing. Um, Darcy Wisback formula because that is friction yung ating factor na binigay no? so we simplify this one from the Darcy Wisback formula so it will be like this okay so ang gagawin natin um, kukunin ko siyang K no? yung constant natin and yung square root of H that would be the head loss no? corresponding head loss alright so what will be the next now, we'll be expressing one head loss. Um, pinakamadali, express natin yung head loss at 3 to head loss at 1. Now, remember, okay, remember that we have here the given elevations of A and C. Now, express natin yung isang head loss nila. Um, it, mas madali if yung H sub 3 yung express natin to H sub 1. No? Para isa lang yung unknown natin. Isang head loss lang. Okay, like that one. So, as we can see, uh, the, the difference in elevation between A and B, that is uh, 300 minus 277, and that is 23 meters. Alright. So, therefore, as we can see that H sub 3 is equivalent to 23 minus H sub 1. Okay. Yan yung gamit ng ating mga elevations. That one. Alright. Now, I will calculate first the corresponding constant K on each, uh, on each pipe. Now, that would be... 0.9, the diameter of pipe 1, over 0 0.0826, uh, yung friction factor nila are not constant. No? It is not constant. So, the uh, friction factor for pipe 1 is 0 0.0208, and the length for pipe 1 is 1500. Okay? And we have here uh, 0.4787, and I will store that one to A using the calculator no? uh, that is approved for, uh, by, by the PRC. And calculate natin yung a constant for 3, a k sub 3, that would be the diameter at 3, over the 0 0.0826 uh, friction factor times its length 1 200, and that is uh, 0 0.1174. And I will store that one to B. Alright? So, uh, maybe I can show you this one in the calculator. Para matrace nyo rin, um, how did we do it? Okay, so let's try. Let's try this one to the uh, in the calculator. All right, so uh, unahin natin to. Okay, so that would be square root of. So like what I did last time, I will just store, I uh, know input a variable here para mas madale no zero point zero eight two six. Ang gagawin ko is Ang gag um, I will make variables sa mga um, parameters na hindi constant. Yung F natin are not constant all throughout the pipe, no? So, F, that will signifies the uh, friction factor. Then, the length. Um, let's say yung length ko is na kay F. Alright? So, diameter 0 0.0826 F times L. Okay? So, if I will press calc. Okay, for K1, that is our F1. I ah, know the diameter for 1, that is 0 0.9. F1 is 0 0.0208. So, ginawa ko to para mas, mad, mas mabilis. No? Hindi ako pa ulit-ulit mag-type sa calculator. And the length for pipe 1 is 1,500. Alright, so that is uh, the value here. So, store ko siya kay A. Alright, so... Uh, the same approach, but here, the diameter for pipe 3, that is 0 0.45 meters. And the friction factor for pipe 3 is 0 0.0135. Okay, then the length is 1,200. 
All right, so we have here uh, the same value here. And let us store this one to, um, actually, mas maganda sa C, no? Para hindi confusing uh, because this is pipe C. Uh, let, um, let me store this one to pipe C na lang. Ship store to C. Okay, so disregard this um, thing here. Um, the constant for C or for pipe 3 is at variable C in the calculator. Okay. Okay, let me just um, take the calculator there. And then, um, we'll be supplying this um, constant dito sa equation natin. Alright. So, using the main equation, this one, we can say that uh, the Q1 is equivalent to K1 square root of H1. Okay. It's equivalent to 0 0.65 plus K3 square root of 23 minus h sub 1 okay so we um express h sub 3 by the way dito to h sub 1 para isa lang yung unknown okay as you can see in the calculator the only remaining unknown here is yung h sub 1 therefore ship sold uh using our calculator approved by dprc that is 5.66 meters okay so let me show you that how to do um that in the calculator Okay, so uh, K1 is stored on A. Then square root of H sub, H sub 1, that will be our X here. Um, alpha equals 0 0.65 uh, plus K sub 3. So I store this one to C. Okay, remember, that is C. Then square root of 23 minus X. Alright, so that is our equation. If so... Of course, A is in A, and yung K sub 3 is na kay C. Then, uh, of course, yung H sub 1 natin should be lesser than 23 uh, by this equation. No? Klarong klaro. So, uh, it's okay na 6 yung initial value natin na hahanapin, uh, magbe-base sa paghahanap ng ating calculator. And that is 5.66. Okay? So, that is the answer for part 2. Ah. Part 2, okay, that is part 2. Determine the head loss of the pipe connecting reservoir A. So that is our pipe 1. Okay, this is the answer for part 2. Okay, now how about part 3? So, isolve na lang natin yung H sub 3. No? Magagamit natin to. H sub 3, by the way, that is 23 minus 5.66 and that is 17.34. Okay, part 3, 4, and 5. So, part 3, determine the pressure head at the pipe junction if the junction is at elevation of 230.04 meters. So, the junction here is at elevation 230.04 meters. And what is asked here is yung pressure head niya. Not pressure head. Remember, that is pressure head. So, to calculate that, the pressure head is ito, this one. Okay? Ito yung pressure head natin. That, uh, ito yung um, energy na cost ng pressure dito. Alright? I hope that is clear, no? So, that would be, to calculate the pressure head, this one, that is just, uh, ano yung difference in elevation between A and dito sa junction that is 300 minus 230 no if you can see that one you can see ito yung difference in elevation nila no so that is 300 minus this one then tanggalin pa natin yung h sub 1 so matitira is ito no 300 minus um, elevation at junction minus 5.66 which is the h sub 1 um, and dito, ito yung H sub 1 natin, and that is our pressure head. No? Okay? I hope that is clear. Gets lang. Okay? Now, um, determine the flow in reserva A. So, madaling-madali na lang yung 4 and 5, reserva A and reserva C. So, using this, K square root of H, we simplify the value of the discharge by K square root of H. Now, we have the H na for corresponding H1 and H3. 
Okay, so we can have here um, Q1 and Q3. Okay, very, very easy. Okay, let us do that one sa calculator natin. So, yung H sub 1 is stored to um, X, no? Ayan, ito yung H sub 1 natin. If I will press calc, andito yung uh, K1, and dito yung H sub 1. And that is 1.14 approximately. Uh, the answer here is... Uh, by the way, ito yung sagot ng ating part 3 and 1.14 for uh, number 4. And ano pa? Part uh, 5, dapat Q sub 3 ito. So, nakastore siya kay C. Then, um, ang yung H sub 3 is 23 minus X yun, no? If you remember, 23 minus X. Okay? Correct ba? Or kahit gamitin natin to. Uh, kahit gamitin natin to automatically. Um, mas maganda sa calculator kasi naka, naka store na yung values natin. Okay? Well, anyway, madali lang naman. Equals. And that is 0 0.49 cubic meters approximately. Alright? So that's it. I hope you learned something from this video and if this vid video will help you uh, a lot, uh, please subscribe to our channel and also share this share this uh, video to your friends. We'll be taking the board exam sooner. Okay? Thank you.